Let's go, let's follow. It's so nice. It is cold, but it's nice. If you can see, my Onyx is still bent. It's never got fixed. And obviously it's never gonna get fixed. Um, the last time I rode this thing, it's, it felt like something was off in the bag. It felt like the tire rolled over on itself that it like got flat or it felt like the wheel um, wasn't tight enough and it was shifting because I just felt a weird movement in the back. Um, I checked these bolts. I went through all these and should be fine. So hopefully we're all right. I checked them all and they're pretty tight. Checked all this, checked all these. So I'm just gonna leave it and go ride. We're gonna take the safe way that we always take with this bike. Hopefully I don't feel anything weird on the bike anymore. I do have to go to work, so. Oh, seeing it. See a fire truck coming. back there that's for sure but it's coming quick we better get the hell out of here why is this lady right in the street oh they're still coming I can hear him now. Let's go, let's follow him. You think if they were in an emergency, they would go faster? My Onyx is going as fast as them. And I'm not in a rush or emergency. Okay, so I took off the internal mic. It sucked ass. I didn't like it whatsoever. Uh, I'm gonna return that when I have time. And right now I am using the Media Mods case and I'm using the back of the media mod. You can either use both speakers, front and back, which gives you stereo output, I believe, or you can use just the front one, or you can use just the back one. And I'm using the back microphone on the GoPro with the media mod and connect it to the 9. Uh, I hope it's good. I won't know until I get back. But uh, I was not impressed with how a, a dedicated mic, mic sounded. I got no audio from the bike whatsoever and I got a little bit of wind noise not much but it's mostly like clicking noises even though I taped the hell out of that microphone the only thing I saw that kind of worked pretty good was people were putting foam over the microphone and then taping the foam down so you weren't like fully covering the microphone with tape and that looked like a pretty pretty good idea but the bad thing about that is that my mouth was almost already touching the mic and it was a pretty flat looking mic so i don't think that would have worked i would have probably been touching that foam piece when i talk or kept adjusting my helmet so let's uh let's pray this should be a lot better i mean it really should if you think about it it has a little uh, foam windscreen around it also there's no way this audio can be very bad if 
my it might be my go-to audio for now on. Don't go far. give a good test of the GoPro right now on the audio. Very, very windy, noisy. That's another thing too, I forgot I can now close my visor so uh, I could talk and close my visor at the same time and not get dirt and crap in my eyes. Oh yeah. It's crazy because it's so bright at first because uh, my visor is like an iridium blue and it gives about a 70% tint. I just love how it looks because you can't see me inside. So when I uh, lane split in traffic, no one can see who I am. But I like kind of being hidden. It's kind of like in a car with tinted windows, the same thing, you know, people can't see you, kind of pull up to someone. One car down there is flying, so if I can make it after these cars, I will. But man, that one car is coming quick. It's like a truck. I can see it. I'm gonna clean that off before I leave. they would push the crosswalk and not just go across it's not like a busy street either it's not like a main street I think someone said they just saw me it's probably that Honda Civic back there if I can stop in time before the light changes I'll look Oh no, that was someone else. Oh man, I thought I was getting recognized, damn it. But no. Wishful thinking. When I get to my work, 
like I might have a little bit of time, I'm gonna pull up my my app and I'm just gonna see how the audio is. And if it's pretty bad, I'm gonna switch it to stereo, which does front and back, and uh, we'll get an idea of what that sounds like. But if this audio is good enough, I'm just gonna leave the back audio because I don't need front audio. That's where all the wind comes from. Just bear with me, guys. I'm trying to switch up my whole setup in the last probably week or two with the new GoPro, the new media mods. I'm getting a new lens mod. The only bad thing I did not know about it is it will only record up to 2.7K, but it will give me a 155 degree angle, so you'll see more of this bike. So, uh, I'm really curious on if that's going to be worth it, and then you can also upsample it to 4K if you want. But I'm really curious to see, like, how it is. I would love to get more of a wide angle so you can see more of the bike while I'm uh while I'm riding but with my new uh my new location of my GoPro mount being on the bottom it actually seems to help a lot with being able to see the handlebars which is my main concern that's what I wanted I want you guys to be able to see the bike and me ride and not just the road all right guys well we're here all right I'll see you tomorrow if you're here all right I want to get home. I'll see you, Frank. Good night. Right seat. I'll try. <laughs> oh my God, water. I hate water. Water's the enemy. Woo, all right. I tried to look at some footage um, at work. I was having an issue. I was downloading the, the files to the GoPro app, but for some reason I couldn't transfer it to my phone to uh, really get a good pickup because on the GoPro app, it doesn't give you the full quality. And um, some of the audio sounded really good actually, but there were some certain points when I, uh, it sounded like a lot of wind. So I wasn't really too happy with it um maybe there's something i can put in there for the rear mic before i put the the foam piece on that comes with the gopro media mod maybe there's like a little i don't know piece of fur i can put in there to help with uh, the wind because it seems like a certain part when the gopro is facing a certain way that wind kind of gets behind it but another thing i'm thinking about is I got a lens mod coming and that's going to give me 155 degrees and I actually might move my GoPro uh, where I used to originally have it at. Because now you're going to be able to see the handlebars regardless. So I might move it. Like right now I don't know how the audio is coming through. It might be pretty windy because it's super windy right now. And if it is, I apologize. I'm still trying to figure this out. But hopefully once I move my camera and all that stuff, it'll be a lot better. Only time will tell. so fast my mirror moved Whee! okay let's adjust that right there that looks all right it's not too bad oh, i barely left i went 0.7 miles and i'm at 81.6 volts it might jump up to 82 if i sit here long enough but still i lost a lot of volts already oh, that guy was mad we closed Oh, now they want to speed up. I thought they almost like ran into the curb.
like the car I was trying to go around, they almost hit the curb. So that's why I was trying to go around them. And then the people in the blue car, well, I guess wanted to go faster. I thought they were trying to race me or something. And then these people just merged over way too late. This bike, even with the suspension, is still bumpy. You can probably hear it in my uh, voice. I still never figured out what I felt that one day. It kind of feels like the suspension didn't really like come loose, but something changed in it, like where it's a lot softer. I did check the suspension bolts too to make sure that was all right. I'm just wondering if uh, maybe one of my suspension uh, locking rings uh, kind of came loose. Maybe it's softer than normal or it's harder than normal. I don't know, something definitely felt like it changed in the rear end. And it is kind of windy. It just kind of feels like the vice kind of zigzagging around back there. And it wasn't none of the main axle bolts wasn't none of that who knows i don't know i'm still riding it it's like what james said from onyx after the whole they didn't want to fix my bike and they went out of business and then he wanted to talk shit on me and told me oh well you're still riding the bike it's fine and that's true, I'm still riding the bike. It's still, it's still slightly bit. It still rides, but it should have been fixed. Just like whatever is going on, on my bike right now, I need to uh, get it fixed, even though it does get me to and from, it just doesn't feel right. So I'll figure it out. right here this car is going the perfect speed limit can't complain everyone else back there idiots story of my life in fresno man that's why i don't even feel comfortable bringing my my nice cars out anymore and i know it's only a ford fiesta st it's only probably worth i think 12 grand at the moment I get it, it's not like a high-end $100,000 car, I get that. But still, man, like, I like to keep my stuff nice. And I just feel like people would fuck my car up. That's just me being honest. Uh, I feel like someone's about gonna hit it at one point. Because people just don't drive right. Or just in the parking lot. I don't really like having my car out in the parking lot all day with the carts, the wind, people being inconsiderate, slamming uh, their, their doors into yours. I mean, I, just people are disrespectful. And I, I like to take care of my cars. I love my cars. Like I said, they're not like the most expensive thing, but you know, those are my babies. I'd rather just keep my car in my garage and drive in on special occasions. Nice. 
passed by an electric bike. How would you feel? <laughs> I've never seen it. Like, I've never been in my car and just been chilling, just driving the speed limit. Maybe even going over the speed limit a little bit and just have someone on a bike pedaling just pass you. My God, dude, like I'd be like, I would personally, I'm not, if I wasn't into these bikes, didn't really know too much of them, I'd be like, what the hell did this guy modify to make that thing go so fast? Oh, the motorcycles. Those are my buddies. No, I don't really know them, but I should have turned around and followed them. But hey, let me join. And then they're probably gonna go down there and get on the freeway and then I wouldn't be able to join them out there. Yeah, 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 I gotta go this way. Oh man, region is just so touchy. I say that like all the time. At this next four-way stop, I'll try to do a pull. You guys got to see the power of this machine. I really want to find if there's any any software to flash the Kelly controller to bring it back to uh, how the, the version 1.0 used to be. It used to be able to haul ass. You used to be able to hit 60 all day long. That's why people say, oh, I got mine the 56. All right, let's go. Look at that. Look at that. Zero to 40 is fast, man. The, the uh, Suron, it just can't do that with the 60 volt. But man, when the 72 volt comes in, whoo! Which, by the way, John Angel, he sent me a video of my light speed battery in the works because uh, they're, I think they're based in LA, or I mean in New York. What the hell is that? Stupid thing. Well, we have came across an issue with something making noise on the bike. Don't know what it is. There's always something going on with this Onyx, I've noticed. I don't have any issues with the Suron. But all right, guys, that's another ride in the books. Getting home, got home safe, even though I felt like I almost died right when I got on that one street off of the overpass. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace out, ride safe. If you have an Onyx, Suron, any type of Super 73, Huck, I don't care, Monday bike, hit me up. Come down to Fresno, let's ride, because I do not have a way of getting my bike anywhere, and let's do something. I'm down to make a video with anybody. Let's just get out there and go have fun, guys. So, all right. See you guys later.